Hello everyone, I am Sylvia Lopez, author of Handimals, Animals in Art and Nature. I am so pleased that the book has been nominated for the 2022 Blue Stem Award alongside so many other great titles. I know what a great honor it is to be placed on such a list. As you will see, my book is a little bit different from other animal books. Yes, it does have a lot of facts about animals, but it also has the work of an artist who chooses to paint animals on human hands. I would like to tell you a little bit about how my writing and his work came together to make this book. Several years ago, I saw this ad in an airline magazine. And you can see that it was a while back because they don't make cell phones like that anymore. Well, at first I thought it was a moose holding a cell phone in its antlers, but then I looked a little closer and realized it was not a moose at all. It was human hands painted and posed to look like a moose. I thought it was so cool, but nowhere in the ad was the name of the artist. On another flight, I saw this ad. This time it was an iguana. And not only was the animal painted on the hands, but also the leaves and the stems. I thought this art was amazing, but I just could not find anywhere the name of the artist. Then a few years later, a student came up to me and showed me this page in a book that was being sold in the school book fair. And there on the page was the moose and the iguana, plus a macaw and a cheetah, and best of all, the name of the artist. He is Guido Danielli, and I found out that he is world famous and that his work hangs in museums. I also found out that he lives in Italy and that he calls his creations handimals. Well, I decided to write Mr. Danielli and told him that I thought boys and girls would really enjoy looking at his work in a children's book. Would he like to do a children's book with me? And he said, yes. And the rest, of course, is history. Besides interesting facts and beautiful artwork, I wanted to put some fun stuff into my book. Do you know that a group of zebras is called a dazzle? Or that chameleons can swivel their eyes independently of each other and look in every direction at the same time? I also wanted to show how Mr. Danieli does his work. For example, how he chose a, a model with rough hands for his African elephant because elephants don't have smooth skin. Their skin is wrinkly. And here's the actual page from the book, the one about the bald eagle. Eagles have great eyesight. That's partly because their top eyelids release an oil that coats the eyeball and that cuts the glare from the sun so that they can see their prey better. Kind of like built-in sunglasses. Well, I hope you enjoy reading Handimals, Animals in Art and Nature. I hope you come away knowing a little bit more about these animals and also admiring them for the works of art that they truly are, not just on canvases or on hands, but out in the world that we share with them. If nothing else, I hope that the word Handimals always reminds you that the future of these and all animals is in your hands. Thank you. Bye.